for is getting a good reading on a frequency counter. So we have the radio plugged into the coax, coax goes into a dummy load, before the dummy load is a T fitting, basically an RF sampler. Off the sampler, this goes into the scope, and then we took it off the scope for now. So I want to check the frequency of this radio, and I have, this comes just as a board, you have to solder your leads on. So I put a 9 volt battery on there with some Anderson connectors. Okay, 9 volt battery on there with some Anderson connectors just to get this thing up and running. I have a project box in order. We're going to set this up in a project box. So that's how you do it. You get your little SMA to BNC female adapters here. You put your cables one in, one out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set the radio to channel 20. Well, actually we're going to set it to 38. 38 AM. Okay. We'll go into our system here. We'll load number one. Okay. And we'll get a dead carrier into this radio. Okay. And as you see, the, the frequency counters come with these freaking probes here. Now you can take and uh, you can tape and click this right onto the antenna port inside and get a reading. But that's, you know, the last resort. Uh, guys have also been wrapping a piece of wire around their sampler coax and getting a reading that way. But I use LMR240. It's really high shielded stuff, so I don't get a reading. So what this is going to do is bring it off the sampler for us right there. So as you see now, the radio is keyed up. 38 AM. We have it keyed up with a 1K tone. And... We're getting no reading. Frequency counter is set to option two. Confirm. We're getting no reading. Even though it's coming off the sampler, right in the front of the frequency counter, it's not reading. There's just there's not enough. So what this amplifier does, they're like eleven dollars on Amazon. I picked this set up. I tried ordering two on eBay, they never shipped them, so the hell with eBay. So what this will actually do is it'll start showing our frequency up on um, on the screen here. So we're on 27385 AM, and there we are, 27385. Okay, now if I unplug my little device, watch. Unplug your device, it doesn't get enough juice to keep the frequency. That frequency will go off. Okay. See, I turned it off and back on. It doesn't know. There's not enough. So, plug your little amplifier in and your frequency counter works. It's also good for sideband as well. So there you are, 27385. So we're going to kill it on AM. We're going to kill this here. We're going to go into system. We're going to load 01, which is my sideband setup. It's a dual tone. I'm going to go over to the radio. Set the radio in lower sideband, 27385. So lower sideband should read 27384. We're going to hit OK. Give the radio its dual tone, two tones in. And you'll see we get a reading up here, 27384. Takes a little while. There you go, 27384 on lower sideband. That's where you want to be. And then if we kick this up to upper sideband, and we put our tone back into it. Seven three eight six for upper side bend. Okay, so this is a good little good little deal to have. It makes getting your frequencies 
a lot easier on your radios without having to open them up and stick a clip inside. So definitely worth it. A little RF amplifier. Definitely worth it. And then I'll just unplug it for now. Okay, that'll take the voltage out of it. I find it runs nice on 9 volts. 